Now, here again we are deploying 64-bit ADA subtractor. Can we do better than that? Okay, Of course we can. We can actually simplify this circuit with this kind of scenario. Okay, What we will do again, keep the divisor at one place and then dividend we will uh, keep at the lower half of the 64-bit register okay and now this 64-bit register should have something like the multiplication area we did partially load can be load the upper half okay with the 32-bit result of the adder subtractor and then we want to do finalize this <coughs> quotient uh, bit by shifting to the right side while dividend is going out of the going out of the uh, scope okay so we are partially trying to load the divisor oh no no it's, it's other way dividend is is basically will be shifted to the left side we are bringing the dividend in the scope of the divisor so remember earlier strategy was we are fixing the dividend position and divisor is being brought under the dividend as a, a right shift operation since we have seen uh, seen that shift is relative you are keeping the dividend fix and divide divisor is coming under the dividend as a right shift is the same as you are keeping the divisor at the fixed position and bringing the dividend over the divisor as a left shift operation so we keep on doing left shifting and finalizing the quotient bit by bit remember the quotient are were finalized bit by bit right by shifting towards the left okay as we hold partial result onto the upper half of that 64 bit register and controller now again controls what to load one or zero as a quotient bit controls when to shift right when to shift left etc when we need to shift left when uh, sorry shift right when we want to roll back a result okay <clears throat> so let's look at that strategy with an example then this circuit will come to sense okay let's understand our new strategy binary division digital perspective 2 when we keep the divisor at one place and then we have two register one is quotient and other is remainder and they are kind of somewhat connected so that we can independently load the remainder register but we can shift them towards the right as a whole register like as a whole 16 bit register okay and then we can insert some new values into the quotient so we load the quotient registers 8 bit with the dividend bit pattern and divisor fix register with the divisor bit pattern and reminder with zero <coughs> now first step iteration we right shift right shift by default it, it will introduce a zero into the lsb position in the quotient right and then we do a subtraction from the reminder with the divisor that's a negative negatives if the remainder is negative roll back which is again like add back the divisor and finalize my quotient bit iteration and you shift one more that brings you to the iteration 2 so you shift to the right that brings you to iteration 2 you do a subtraction negative result roll back finalize another shift to the right the whole thing remainder question register together 
subtraction, negative remainder, rollback, and finalize and redshift. Iteration 4, same thing, right? So, see at the end of the day, what we are doing, we are picking up the dividend bit pattern, shifting towards the left side to put it or place it over the divisor bit pattern. That's what all we are trying to do instead of doing the other way, which we did it in the first strategy, initial strategy of the of the digital division. <coughs> we keep on doing that, roll back, still it is, now it is, now this look at this at this point, iteration 6, your bit pattern is more than the divisor, so it will raise to a positive remainder. In this case, we need to shift out. So that's why you need to have the shift right capability in this whole register, register system, remainder quotient total like conjoint register system. You shift out that wrong decision of inserting a zero and then shift back one, okay? Then one more shift, do the remain like subtraction, positive remainder. So roll back, insert one, and shift. Then subtraction, positive remainder, roll back, and you are basically done at that point. So your iteration 8, look at this, like it doesn't need iteration 9, it needs, it, it only need to have iteration 8 and you are done. Your remainder register has your remainder bit pattern, quotient register has your quotient bit pattern. So this is a strategy what has been taken into the next simplified circuit which lets us to, let us to use like mostly 32 bit, one specific arrangement like like two 32 bit joined together for the shifting purpose and stuff like that, which is easy to implement on the on the hardware side. <coughs> so, and that also gives us ability to use a 32 bit adder subtractor. We don't need 64 bit adder subtractor in this at this point. I hope now at this point this circuit makes sense to you. Okay, so if you have any questions, specifically ask me. Ask me either send me email or or uh, ask me in class. <coughs>